Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Everett and I'm the events producer and marketing manager for Queen City FinTech. As virtual events become our new normal, we've decided to release weekly videos with tips and tricks to help navigate this oftentimes confusing new technology. For our annual FinTech Generations Conference, we've partnered with Brella to offer attendees a virtual event platform that offers both engaging content and thoughtful networking. If you haven't done so already, please check out our first video where we cover how to set up your Brella account. This week, we're gonna cover how to interact and engage with other attendees on this platform. It's important to note here that although you can access Brella on any phone, laptop, or tablet, for the best virtual experience, it is recommended to join this event on your desktop or laptop computer using Safari or Chrome. At this time, I'd like to show you our platform and how to best use it so that you can really engage with other attendees. So when logging on through your laptop or desktop computer, you'll want to go to Brella's website, which is just brella.io. Once here, you'll have the option to sign in here at the top right-hand corner. This should be pretty easy after you've already set up your account. Once you've signed in using your email and password that you set up with Brella, you'll be brought to an events dashboard where you can select any event that you registered for on Brella. Once you've selected the event you would like to attend, the first page you will be brought to is the People's page. You can find this right over here in the main navigation bar to the left of your computer screen. And anytime you want to come and look at who is in attendance of this event, just click the People's tab and this is where you will be. This list should be filtered according to who is the best match for you. Now, if you want to set up a meeting with someone who it matches with you and you really want to connect with, all you have to do is click, select Suggest Meeting. From here, you'll get an overview of your schedule. It shows all the sessions that you're taking part in as well as any meetings you have set up. You'll want to focus on these green boxes here that'll show you a time slot that works for both you and the person you're trying to connect with. Once selected, you can write a personalized message, letting this person know who you are and what your interest is in connecting and chatting more with them, and send the meeting request. Once you have sent a meeting request, there is the ability to turn down the meeting request coming to you or reschedule. So if that time doesn't work for this person and they want to push it out, there is the opportunity to reschedule for a time that works better. Once the person has accepted your meeting, you do have the ability to chat. You can either chat using this chat function or even make a virtual call where you can have some more personalized one-on-one -on -one time. Some other ways to interact and engage with event attendees is in the sessions themselves. So if you're looking to join a session, you just click the Schedule tab on your main navigation bar. Here is a running list of all the sessions that will be happening during this particular event. So I would select the session I'm about to join and I want to watch. Here's where you'll watch the stream of the panelist or the keynote that is presenting. Over here to the right, you will have the option to chat with other people also viewing the same stream. It's important to note that this chat function is open to everyone watching the stream. There is not a privacy setting. So anything you post here, everyone will be able to see and respond to. If you're looking to interact and connect with sponsors or exhibitors of the event, you would go back to your main navigation bar here to the left and select the Exhibitors tab. Here you can see all of the event sponsors and exhibitors. Now, say I want to connect with Brian at Home Lending Pal. I select his virtual booth. Again, on this page to the right, you'll have a general public chat forum. Again, you will be able to post any questions or comments that you may have for Brian, but anyone visiting his booth will be able to see this and also contribute to the conversation. If you want something a little bit more private, then all you have to do is suggest a meeting with Brian by clicking the green button. You will again view your schedule as it compares to Brian's, 
and be able to see what times work for both of you to set up a meeting. From there, you'll be able to send a personalized message to Brian, letting him know who you are and why you want to connect and send a meeting request. From there, he'll be able to reschedule, cancel, or even have a quick chat before accepting your meeting. That is the best way to use this platform to engage and interact with any and all of that attendees and sponsors. I hope this was helpful and useful. Until next week, stay safe and stay healthy.